Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, after so many months, six to seven months of harnessing and collecting and gathering the most scarce material and the most luxurious material of the entire game, which is the Chaotic Starlight, we finally got them into evolving them to get them and combine them with the most broken unit as a solo character in this game, Gormagala Ken, and make him to triple S. And it's finally done as free to play. The character that cost everybody to buy the entire shop to max him out when his re on his release because that was the scam that they did with all the players. Even if you summoned, even if you did whatever it happens, there is no RNG. You need to buy the entire shop. And there's a lot of Reddit subreddits that you can go and read about it. And there are lots of you or, uh, or, or videos that you can go and watch. It was not possible. Anybody who got Triple S Gormagala Ken before the release of uh, the Chaotic Starlight, they had to buy the entire shop to do that, which cost something between $1,200 to $2,000. I don't rem remember or know the exact number. I know that it's for 100%, it's $1,200 as a baseline to get him before the release of the Chaotic Starlight. And we've done it. Now with the release of the new event, which is this, which we will have tomorrow by tomorrow, the new jury, the trendy jury, or whatever her name will be, absolutely perfect art by the way, we got the Chaotic Starlight and now we claimed it and finally we can do that and ascend our Gormagala Ken to the eternal realm of the Triple S category. Let's go and do it all together because I'm so hyped, I'm so nervous and I'm so happy because after a lot of time as free to play, I've done that. And by the way, as free to play, it's almost not possible for you to do that because they will give you only one free copy of Gormagala Ken for you to use from the event or to collect and use. One copy and if you were one of the few lucky ones, you will get another copy by summoning him with the 12 tickets that they gave us and now you will need another Chaotic Starlight. So you need to wait until a new event or another freebie of a, uh, a Starlight so you can do him to triple S. You will be losing on one. But for me, I was even one of the more lucky people and I got two free copies on top of the free copy that they gave us. So they gave us free copy. I summoned with the 12 tickets that we had and I got two copies and I was so lucky to have this and I got one extra copy for me to use other than the copy, the shitty copy or the shitty uh, uh, system that they did with the with these and they gave us 26 shards or fragments of him and they never continued that project and now i have him as triple s one of the few i don't know if there's others there's no report of any others that did the same or had the same luck to get two copies on summoning him with the free copy so now we can get gorma galakan to triple s and that's the moment that's the moment that's the moment that i was waiting for awaken to triple s gorma galakan Oh my fucking god, finally, finally, holy shit, I've been waiting for this moment for, it looks for like eternity, forever. Oh my god, yes, yes, and yes, a million yes, so let's go and do this. Let me remove all these units, quick adjust, hopefully they will lose. Their Gormagala Ken shenanigans. Anybody has pieces of Gormagala Ken? No, Gormagala Ken had them all. El Fuerte has one piece for him. And uh, you, my friend, has three pieces, Balrog. And now I can upgrade his gears more and more. So here we go. Uppies, uppies. Reduction in all battles, 2%. Perfect. More power to you. And here we go. Is this final damage or something? Bonus in all uh, battles, final damage by 2%. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we go. And this is it, finally. We've done it, there's no more. That's that. We can do this, actually, and give anybody else other gears. Is there any Gormagala Ken gears? No, these are Gen, 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 and Gen. Okay. Here we go. We unlocked it. 
we unlocked his 6 out of 6. An absolute monster. On top of that, we have his... Where is your equipment? We have his plus 30. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I'm thinking about it, getting him to plus 40 because he will get more stats, of course, in attack, HP. He will get pressure and healing rate, so he will be more healed. Doesn't matter the healing. Uh, other than that, now, since we have him, we can go and upgrade my dojo. I have five levels that I, I can upgrade and spend, finally, that I don't have this wall because I'm free to play. So, okay, so we need more of this, that, give me, give me all of these, give me all of these. And you, 12k, yeah, this will be happy. Another level. Can we go more, one more level, yeah. Of course I can go one more level, wait a second. What do you mean, I have a lot, 532 million, I'ma pop them, I don't care. Okay. And here, yep. I'll leave these two levels for leveling up unless we get another triple S. And we have how much power? Almost 700 million power on free to play. That's crazy. That's crazy. Almost 700 more power. And here we go. Eight more points here. Let's go, baby. And it's at 40. So now I need to go to with a balance tree to plus 50 because he's here in the tree. So he will ge get more buffed. Okay, now that we had that, we can go to our shop, buy the extra tickets. What, what did I buy? The extra tickets from here. And hopefully, with these two summons that I have, <laughs> I can get one more copy of his Conde Vega. I just need one more freaking copy and he'll be triple S and I'm done. I'm done. I'll finish. One. Nope. Okay. Please give me one. Don't let me go and spend and search for another chaotic starlight for him. I just want to finish it. I'm so happy for Gormagalakan. It doesn't matter at this point. And here, what do we have? I can pull for Gormagalakan. Can I? Can I? Can I? No, because he's a collab and collab ended, so you can't pull for him. Bullshit shenanigans, but hey, understandable. So let us go to Arena and check him against a top tier carry or a top tier uh, team. So, which teams? I, uh, I can't on my server, but hey, let's try. So, uh, Tito. Yeah, I can't beat this team. It's impossible. There's no way I'm beating this team. I can try. I can try. Let's do this. Let's go with Gormagalakan, Healing, Stun, and then Bison. Oni will destroy me. He has Oni. Oni is the better the better guy for this lineup but hey we can do something at least do I really need healings can I play something else other than healing maybe I don't know I'll check this lineup what it can do let's go and check it together if I can beat somebody double my uh, power I, I bet I can't but I'll try anyway and we interrupted that's a good shenanigans and we got no, we didn't hit them. Another interrupt. And Gormagalakan is dead. No! My baby! Who do they have as support, Elena? Okay. There's no way on earth I can beat that. But hey, we did we did some good amount of damage, did we? Nope, we did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's try Gormagalakan on another lineup. Sinner, 81 million. And I'm 81 million. The lineup that... I created the monstrosity. Can we beat it with this normal lineup that we have? Now this lineup, I, 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 I created this, I think, almost a year ago. It's almost undefeatable because of the two tanks, one heal and bison. Let's go and check if we can defeat it with this normal lineup. Now Gormagalakan has fast chant on him. I can replace it with something else, but we're gonna try and kill their Elena. Killing their Elena will be awesome if she drops from... Uh, up there and here we go we're healing we're stunning and we're dealing damage can Gormagala can defeat the, 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 this team I don't think so but hey we can always try I think we are Jesus what the hell is going on Elena is dead Zangief is dead now we only need to kill Honda which is almost impossible yeah this is the problem with this lineup absolutely insane 
great lineup actually. And he has a five star bison. <laughs> How much damage did he do? 192, 191 million. How much healing did he do? 62, I did 66. Still we, we lost because Zangief and Honda, Honda of course, doesn't die on this lineup. If you have uh, Evil Ryu, Evil Ryu destroys this team. Any other uh, competition, big competition? I wanna try this again, and this time without my bison actually. I wanna try this with <laughs> a more toxic team. I wanna try it like this. And I wanna do... Does this only work? Does it work alone? Okay. I need a C3. I need a C3. I can use a C1 from her, C2 from him, and a C3 from somebody else. Who can I use as a C3 user? Or I can do this. He's a C2. And a C3 undying. What the? Okay. You here and you here. And we can start with Gormagala Ken, Elena, your C2, your C3. Hopefully this will be better. I bet this will be better. Now Gormagala Ken, my friend, you don't need fast chance anymore. You, you don't wear fast chance. You wear broken formation. Let's take it from... Oh, all of these need it. Uh, you know what? I can play even better. Assault or I can play Marshall. Marshall, I love Marshall actually. I use it a lot. So we can play Marshall. Give me Evil Ryu. Thank you. Let's... We need to improve his attack. Wait, wait, wait. Why I'm playing Marshall? Give him assault, full of attack, absolutely insane. Get it from guy, <laughs> from from you, my, my man. What are you doing with it? Let's test. Could this team beat the, um, the the impossible tank team? Let's check this out. Now beating Elena at the start and Zangief would be awesome. The problem is a Bison explosion. Bison is the one that is annoying. Now we're using C2, there's no stuns, there's dispelling of E Honda, so maybe E Honda will, will die first. Bam! Wow! Okay, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. This is even better. Now why did this team work because I mitigated a lot of damage with my Zangief. Now Zangief, what does he do? It's his passive. And look at the damage. The MVP is Gormagalakan. Immediately started destroying this lineup, which is the the lineup that that has these teams. As we see, uh, saw with the with the Zangief, with the B Zangief, we couldn't defeat that. Sorry, Sinner, if you're watching this, I'm not using you as as a <laughs> as as just for testing. But you're the only one that is like possibly the one that same level or, or same power as me so the thing is with 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 the Zangief his passive which is absolutely insane reduces flame thunder and soul damage and soul damage is his bison damage and this is why his bison damage didn't deal as much damage as I did and I'm having Abel on him what does Abel do Abel give you the shield as a passive every 12 seconds to my Zangief now I can use something else on top of Zangief that could keep him alive or give him more shields or give him whatever which you can use with having someone like Balrog. Now Balrog will mitigate damage as well and Zangief will stay alive as possible. And now I get the 4 buffs with his crit damage by 15% which is also insane. So we can try this and try if it's better with Abel or if it's better with this lineup and I hope this lineup also works because I find that Balrog is really good with his uh, with his uh, assist and also good if you have him on the lineup. So if you have Balrog also on the lineup but he doesn't have a C3 so we can't do the same thing that we did here. So let's go and test it this way. Can we survive with having Balrog with 4 Inferno? So less attack but more crit damage. So hopefully we're gonna crit and bam. I don't think this team works as the other one. The other one was better, in my opinion. Uh, with Abel. Because Abel mitigate his shields just negates an, an attack immediately. Here we go. Bison. Bam, bam. 
and Gormagala can die, but we still won. Now, we didn't win as much as we the, the same amount, and still, the MVP here and the best uh, damage dealer on my side was Gormagala Khan, of course, with Bison. Now, with the two stars, Gormagala Khan becomes more and more insane. So, we'll do that again. This time, we're gonna do the full buff of the team. So, we're gonna add somebody like Honda, which reduces also damage 8% across the entire team. Now, this team, now we have more attack we don't have only 15% uh, attack we have 15% attack and 15% HP and we have pressure speed and defense bonus so let's test this team and check how much this works is it better than having crit damage buff so we go and test this one out I don't know how this will work but goddamn I love Gormagala Khan still one of the most broken units in the game and one of the biggest monsters as PvP in this game Again, I'm using Healing EX and I'm having the Charm EX. Probably I should uh, replace the Charm EX with something else. My Bison died. How did Bison die? I have zero clue. Ah, because he have uh, uh, Zangief. Zangief with his C2 can kill him. And here we go, Gormagalakan is the only survivor of this lineup. Let's check the damages. So 152 million damage. The healing was 90 million, his healing was 23. His bison dealt, dealt a lot of damage, and as you see, my bison died here. I'm so happy we finally did it. Gormagala can triple S. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I have a Gormagala can at triple S. All the rest of the shenanigans that we got, useless. I'm building this dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm building another. Uh, you see, we have a problem with this box because we can't claim the items. They're in my box because I'm at maximum with these. These are at max, which is a problem. And yeah, that was it for the video. Congratulations to everybody that had the same luck and got three copies of Gormagala Ken on his release by luck. If you pulled two and you got the free one and now you can go and today, finally, you can get it and make him as a uh, triple S. And uh, yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fight. Time to fight.